All right, so now that we have a tracking data, we are now going to recreate this truck. So the guy, the actor, is um, totally um, erased out of it. Now, when we're going to recreate the uh, backplate, we're going to have to pick frames that are not in motion blur. Since painting the motion blur in, uh, this is pretty much going to dictate how the how it's going to look like, and we can apply our own motion blur ch uh, to the tracking with the shuttering, with the shutter speed. So we're going to have to pick our best frame here, and I believe it is thirty two and thirty two thirty seven. And let's see if there's any more off screen since we're not using it, but we can still harvest it. 60. So 32, 37, 60. Alright, so we're going to grab the 32, 37, and 60. So get a frame hold out and let's harvest that. And I'll cut to it once it's all prepared. So once you have those frames, we want to grab a dot by putting the full stop, or if you're a yank, it's the period key. Um, so let's get those, make it a lot, make it really neat. Node scripts are very good when it's neat, especially when you're handed to it, because his grandfather unfortunately passed away. All right, so we're gonna have, we have 32, 37, and 60. Now we want to only want to patch what we can see, but in this case, I think we can do the full. Oh no, better not. So um, only patch. We're only going to patch where he goes in between. So let's single these out. So to properly single them out, we're going to have to get a roto, a blur. So roto blur, copy. Put that on the back plate and connect these through the A. And we're going to cut only what we can use. So, um, I'm going to cut around here. I'm going to pre molt it. And press Q to get rid of it. And I don't think it's necessary, but you can press Z just to make sure the lines are not sharp. And we're going to repeat that for all of these next one, just cutting out what we can use and be very strict for the other ones since we're going to, we need, we need as much uh, paint data as possible since. As much as you're articulate with it, it will still look like a blotchy mess. So we're going to cut really close. Pre-mold, and for this next one, for the last one, we are going to kind of cut over here. So 
So we see if we can harvest this and pre-malt. So next we're going to have to merge all these together and try and make something out of it. So we're going to merge by pressing M and let's just merge these together and merge this together. Alright, and let's press T, T, T and move, so let's just move these about. Okay, so what can we use here? Um, I would probably pick... I'll probably pick, let's just go here. All right, so I'll probably pick this one as my main. Move that there. I can probably use... Probably use the second one. No, the last one. Uh, there we go. Um, Uh, to overlap them, just press Shift X on the merge, and you can merge it. So what we want to do is to align these as best as we can. And try and merge them all together into one plate. So use this by using the transform, using the blurring, and try and gather as much information as possible. So for this one, I want to use this information over here. So let's... And for this one, I can probably even only use the masks that I want so I probably only want this to be honest Whoop. okay so um, we have a somewhat good start here um, so we're gonna we're using this, using that, and we're using that. All right, we're slowly getting there. All right, so now we're gonna have to try and gather some more data, just so we can finish up some of the boxes here. I don't think I'll use this. I think I'll erase that. Whoop. And we're going to have to transform that a bit. Just so it's level. Okay, so now we're going to look back at our back plate and let's just see what we need to add on to. So it's just missing that. So I think we can also freeze frame, frame 48. Let's add 48 to it. And we are going to put another dot, full stop slash period there. Roto, copy. And we're going to cut out this middle section. And pre malt. And let's merge that into this branch. Let's place this accordingly. Okay. 
Okay, and we can. I think we can also use the this patch here. Or should we? Uh, yeah, we can use this patch. So also get frame forty three. Frame 43. And let's click this here. Primo. Blur that. And merge it into this branch. And let's place that accordingly. I'm not looking for pixel accuracy. Okay, so we're getting we're getting closer, we're getting close. So now we're gonna put a paint node down the bottom. And we're going to just to quickly cover up some of these glaring blackness issues. So let's just paint over here, paint there. There's a few color shifts here, which I may gonna have to get rid of. I think that's suitable for now. I think that's repeating, so we're gonna have to get rid of that. That line's getting is more to that side to here, so let's just repaint that in. Uh, 